Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my ackee and sawfish. And ackee and sawfish is the national dish of Jamaica. Oh, it's so good. It's one of my favorite things to cook and eat. Today I'm going to be doing it with some boiled dumplings, some green bananas, some sweet potatoes and some plantain. So to start the dish, I'm just going to boil off my salted cod for about one hour, depending on how much you're using. Then I've just chopped up some onions, some spring onions, some tomatoes and some green peppers, followed by some scotch bonnet peppers. These are, oh, you can use habaneros. These are the spicy peppers. So I'm just heated up my pan and I've added some oil. Make sure your pan is hot. And I've added some um, oil. So I'm just going to add it, add this salted cod, which I've boiled and I've chopped up into pieces. And I'm just going to be frying these cod pieces until they are golden brown. So I want them to be golden brown. And I'm using a non-stick pan. I definitely would recommend investing in a good non-stick pan for frying. It makes such a difference when you fry um, different meats, especially the more sort of, you know, fragile meats. Um, if you've never cooked salted cod before, um, this is just cod that's been salted just you know cured with salt and left to dry it's really easy really tasty um to make and if you can't find salted cod i would recommend you using something like um maybe a snapper or um maybe some fish fillets but um try and find um something that has a bit of salt to it it will be really good with the dish some people you know in jamaica they use salted um ham you can use that also it tastes really good with that um so if you can't find salt fish you can use uh salted ham that works really well you know Anything that has like a salty element would go really nice with the ackee. But if you can't find that, just use a regular um, fish. So I'm going to start by frying. Added some onions. Followed by my spring onions. And then I'm going to be adding some tomatoes. I use cherry. I love cherry tomatoes. But you can use any. And then I'm also going to be adding my hot scotch bonnet peppers. And you can use any sort of peppers for these. Chilies, anything that works for you that you can get your hand on. But if you want to keep the originality of the dish, go for scotch bonnet ones. And then I've got some chopped garlic. Who can, can't forget the chopped garlic. I love cooking with garlic, especially when I'm frying So, as you can imagine, this tastes amazing. So, I'm going to just stir that in. And my house smells amazing. Like, I can just... This is a dish already. Um, and a lot of people, you know, like to eat saltfish on its own. So, if you do want to try the salt fish by itself this is also a recipe on its own so you can see my salt fish has been fried to a golden brown i didn't you know burn it or make it too dark i still want it to be soft on the inside so i just fried it to a golden brown color so I'm just going to leave that for a couple of minutes for it to just, you know, get all the the spices in there. So just fry it off for a few minutes so the, the seasonings can just 
go a little bit brown also and this smells amazing like this is just an amazing dish so just go ahead and stir it again so I just wanted to incorporate everything, all this the seasonings that I've used, all the so just incorporate it around so everything gets fried off. Yeah, I just want the onions to brown up a bit so everything's fried off correctly. And this is such a simply simple dish to make. Um, if you don't like fish, this is an easy way to cook fish. Very tasty. And this dish already, the salted cod, that could go nicely with some rice or even some potato. This is already a dish. Or some fried dumplings. In Jamaica we have this with little fried dumplings. And you stuff it in the dumplings. But that's a recipe which I will do at a later date for you guys. But it's so tasty. So once I'm happy with all the 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 vegetables been fried off i'm gonna now add my ackee which is in the tin and i purchased my ackee from the local supermarket here in london so i'm just gonna i've drained off the brine that it was in um and i've just left it to stand making sure that i don't use any of the brine i don't need it really so drain it off first before you use it so i've poured it over the salt fish and the seasonings now i've i'm i'm adding some time to the dish always add time when you have salt fish or ackee oh that just elevates the flavor to a next level and it, you can taste the thyme um fresh thyme is always good to use but if you can't get your hands on fresh thyme you can definitely use the dry thyme as well so now i'm going to add some black pepper just sprinkle it all over and then i've got some crushed pimento berries or spice berries i use this in all my cooking but i just decided this time to just crush it um and all these flavors together are just amazing like this dish smells so good so i'm just gonna give it a stir please be really gentle um because the aki um because it's been sitting in the brine is definitely a little bit more um softer consistency um in jamaica usually we pick it off the tree and then it's boiled and then it's cooked so it's much more harder but because it's been sitting sitting in the can for a while you know uh, the consistency is much more softer so be really gentle not over stirring as l little stirring as possible you know i just shake the pan and I'm just going to leave it for a few minutes just so it can simmer down. You don't need a high heat. I got my heat on a low heat at the moment. So once you get your ackee in the pan, turn your heat to low. We don't want it to, you know, cook out or turn into scramble mushy egg. We want to keep the consistency, the shape of the aki. So try and not stir it too much and keep your heat on low. That's definitely a good trick because I've tasted some aki and it's, you know, turned to mush. So just make sure that you give it less stir as possible. I'm just going to leave that there for a few minutes just to simmer on a really low heat. I will say about 10 minutes um, and then it will be done. Um, so now I'm going to be preparing uh, my sides. So I've got some green banana here which I'm peeling. Very easy um, to peel so I just slice it on the outside and then I'm just using my thumb to just peel it off 
and green banana is a really good starch uh really really uh easy to cook so tasty it's i would recommend green banana with any sort of stew based dishes and here is my sweet potato um this one's from you know the Car caribbean actually this one comes from colombia but they're the same in jamaica they're just a uh, different uh sweet potato family and i'm just going to be using some potato and jamaicans say irish potato but these are just potato i'm going to be adding to my dish And now I'm going to be making some boiled dumplings. Um, boiled dumplings are really popular in Jamaica. I've added some salt, a teaspoon of salt, to my white flour. And then I'm just going to get a spoon and just stir in the salt. I don't recommend using you know no more than a teaspoon of salt and this is just two cups of flour I'm using and I've made a well in the middle and I'm just going to pour in some water gradually so I've just poured and then I'm going to mix and I'm just going to mix keep mixing then I'm going to add some more water I'm probably using one cup of water for two cups of flour and one teaspoon of salt so I'm just going to keep mixing in gradually until I get to the consistency where I feel like I can use my hands to mix the flour so it's all a gradual process so be very patient with this otherwise you will spoil your dough and you have to add more so now i'm happy with it i'm just going to use my hand to start mixing in the dough it's always better to use your hand but i always start off with a spoon first so just keep stirring the flour in and if you find it goes off, just add more or more water. So as you can see, everything is coming together. And the consistency of the dough has changed. That's how I like it. So now I'm just going to knead it just to get it to a much more firmer consistency where it doesn't stick to my hand so I just put some flour on the counter and I'm just gonna work the dough so one of my favorite things to do is <laughs> working with flour so I like working the dough this is the fun bit especially when you're making dumplings the more you work the dough the better the dumplings are always say need need the flour so you need the flour and i'm gonna just keep kneading until it doesn't stick to my hands anymore and i'm gonna be getting a sausage i'm gonna be kneading it into a sausage um roll and i'm just gonna take a bit off and then so i use the palm of my hands to knead the dough into small discs using my thumb my fingers and my palms and my I get a slice of lime and I squeeze it into my pan of boiling water where I've put my dumplings and my green banana in and that helps with the buildup of starch and also sometimes the green banana can change color so you want the lime to kill the starch the starch so now I, if once i've cooked my banana and my dumpling halfway i've added my sweet potato because it cooks really faster and my potato i've added they cook really fast so you don't want to add them in the same time as the green banana and the boiled dumplings 
So now after that's been boiling for an hour, I'm just going to show you guys um, everything. So as you can see, some of the green banana has broken. And I'm just going to show you guys, this is my green banana and it's cooked. So the fork goes right through it. And my dumpling, I'm just going to cut it. You see, it's cooked. It goes through it. This is it, guys. Everything's finished and it looks so delicious. I can't wait to plate up and get tucked in. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you enjoyed watching the video today. Take care. <laughs>